Here are the newest inventions coming soon. Number nine, human head transplants. Scientists have said that in the near future, they plan on cutting off the head of one body to transplant to another. Let's just let that sink in for a second. The doctor crazy enough to attempt such a surgery would be Italian neuroscientist Sergio Canavero and his sidekick Chinese doctor Zhao Ping Ren. As irresponsible as this all sounds, they actually have a volunteer patient who will allow his head to be cut off and placed on another body. Now, as you can imagine, this person, Valery Spiridonov, is suffering from an awful and potentially deadly condition known as wordning hoffman disease. This disorder, which is both rare and genetic, kills all the useful muscle tissue and cells in the brain and spinal cord. Right now, he's confined to a wheelchair, unable to do pretty much anything for himself, but if something doesn't happen soon, he could die. To their credit, the doctors have already successfully experimented on mice. Now they just need a donor. They'll also need 80 surgeons, some really advanced equipment, and tens of millions of dollars. After severing both heads, they'll be able to fuse Spiridonov's head to the dead body's spinal cord. They predict that they have a 90% chance of succeeding should they go through with it. If it's a success, it will be one of the biggest advances in medical history ever. That, and definitely the weirdest. Number 8. Underwater cities and resorts. We've conquered the land, we've explored the sky, we've walked on the moon, orbited the Earth, and even have plans to visit Mars. So, human ambition has few limits, which is why one day we may have underwater resorts and cities. Because we're definitely going to try. In a way, it's already started to happen. If you have some extra dough to spend, you can stay at luxury underwater hotels such as Atlantis, the Palm in Dubai, or Pemba Island in Tanzania, just to name two. Plus, they've already made a few underwater research facilities. So, making buildings underwater is totally a real thing that can be and has been done. All that's left is for us to colonize the ocean. Easier said than done, though, I'm sure. Japan supposedly has plans for an underwater city by 2030. Backed by private investors and government subsidies, the city, assuming it's actually built, will feature a giant sphere that's about 500 meters wide, or three-tenths of a mile. It'll have space for office buildings, apartments, and hotels that can accommodate around 5,000 people. The push for underwater cities is in part a reaction to climate change fears, which makes sense because the science is clear that the planet is warming and sea levels are rising. And while we can already build underwater environments to accommodate maybe 100 or so people for brief periods of time, the idea of building entire cities to host thousands of people for long periods of time, or even permanently, seems a bit daunting. But hey, catch up with us in 2030 and let's see what Japan has come up with. Number 7. The Exoskeleton, aka Titan Arm. In 2013, a group of engineering students at the University of Pennsylvania designed the Exoskeleton. Basically, it's a super strength bionic arm that drastically increases your upper body strength. The Titan Arm straps onto your regular human arm to assist with lifting objects that would otherwise be way too heavy to lift. Complete with a power motor at the elbow joint, the Titan Arm is made from steel and aluminum compounds. While the idea is still undergoing some more research and development, the designers envision a future where the Titan Arm could be used by doctors in physical therapy. Plus, just imagine the possibilities of a super strong arm that can easily attach and detach from your arm. It could increase efficiency in workplaces that require heavy lifting while limiting the risk of injury. In a future where most people are pretty freaked out that robots might take their jobs, I guess there's a way for these people to be part robot. Number 6. Hyperloop Elon Musk just keeps coming up with all these great ideas. The founder of SpaceX and Tesla Motors is now on to the next big thing, the Hyperloop. You might be asking yourself, what's the Hyperloop? Well, it's an idea that's still in development, but the basic concept is that it's a new and improved way for passenger and freight trains to move from point A to point B. These futuristic trains will employ the use of near vacuum tubes, which will be faster, safer, and more efficient than traditional trains. And by faster, we mean way faster than airplanes. Musk has proposed a route from LA to San Francisco that, based on his projections, could travel at 600 miles per hour, making it a quick 35-minute journey. While the idea for trains traveling through a vacuum tube has been around for the better part of a century, 
Musk has actual plans for a prototype and a proposed budget of six billion US dollars. Whether or not his idea will ever come to fruition remains to be seen. Critics of his idea call it expensive, impractical, and unsafe. But hey, all ideas seem crazy at first, such as going to the moon. Number five, electric bike wheel. If electric cars exist, wouldn't it stand to reason that electric bikes exist as well? Well, meet the solar wheel, a nifty gadget that turns an average bicycle into an electric bike. The idea isn't totally new either. E-bikes have been around for a while. Take the Geo Orbital, which claims it can turn your bike electric in less than a minute. But with the solar wheel's cutting edge technology, they may be a more prevalent part of our future. The solar wheel designed by French company Rulin uses Bluetooth and an app, which allows riders to set the speed and the amount of power the solar wheel gives the bike. It was designed to make riding around urban areas to be much simpler and less straining for those who commute by bicycle. This could make cycling more appealing, which could result in fewer cars and less congestion in major cities. Will it ever catch on? This particular e-bike will be available in 2017. Number four, Method 2 Avatar Robot. You could call it a Robot of War or Iron Man 4, and you probably won't be wrong. The Method 2 Avatar Robot is being developed by a group of South Koreans, and while they're being coy about its purpose, it's definitely making Kim Jong-un sweat a bit. This robot, which stands 13 feet tall, has a cockpit for a pilot, which controls the robot's movements. The creators say that this bad boy is designed to go where humans can't. While that description is open for interpretation, for me, it's wherever I go hiking and see huge spider webs and trees everywhere. Anyways, we're sure the idea of using it against North Korea, the world's biggest menace at the moment, has probably crossed the minds of South Korea's military leaders. Whatever its intended purpose, this futuristic robot is still in the testing stages. In December of 2016, it underwent a successful test run at a South Korean lab, but it's still not ready to put to use just yet. Oh yeah, and if this thing looks something like from the movies, it was designed by an engineer named Vitaly Bulgarov, who worked on films such as Robocop, Transformers, and Terminator. And you know what they say, reality is stranger than fiction. Number three, self-driving cars. You've probably been hearing about these all over the news lately, since that's because they're for sure going to be a part of our future. It's just a question of when. Google and other companies have already launched their self-driving car. The idea actually dates back to the 1920s. However, it hasn't been until the past decade or so that companies have really started serious research and development. The benefits of autonomous vehicles are fairly obvious. By using computers and sensors to gauge their environment, Self-driving cars are in theory safer than human drivers who historically have been prone to speeding, texting while driving, road rage, drunk driving, and a laundry list of other behaviors that drive up insurance premiums. By some estimates, autonomous vehicles could eliminate around 90% of traffic incidents, saving billions of dollars in property damage and tens of thousands of lives. We're not quite there yet. Potential legislation and liability concerns pose major obstacles. Plus, we might have to change up our current infrastructure to accommodate self-driving cars. And who knows how many extenuating circumstances could call for experienced human judgment. So while we know self-driving cars can totally work on a small scale, whether or not they ever catch on in a large scale remains to be seen. But I'll take a bet on it. Number two, augmented reality. The idea of some kind of alternate reality has been a dream for a long time. And on the surface, it seems pretty out there. And true, you could just as easily drop some acid and experience an augmented reality that way. But that's illegal and really bad for your brain cells, theoretically. But what I'm suggesting, actually science is suggesting it, is that through technological advances, we can experience a digital augmented reality of sorts. All that's assuming we're not already living in some sort of matrix-like experience, which is something that's suggested by several physicists, but that's going to be another topic for another video. Anyways, augmented reality, for those of you who don't know, works by combining digital information, live video, and the user's environment to experience an alternate reality of sorts. As this whole virtual reality is starting to take off, it really can become a big part of future entertainment. Some have even called it the future of display. If that's the case, the way we watch movies, surf the web, and even the way we learn at school and do our jobs could change forever. Forget texting at the dinner table. How annoying would it be to eat with people with headsets on? <laughs> Number one, Martian colonies. 
At this point, humans have more or less accomplished all we can in our solar system, aside from colonizing Mars, that is. Of course, the next logical step would be ideally several manned missions to the Red Planet before we start trying to spread our empire there. But for the sake of conversation, let's say all that goes down without a snag. Then we can start to colonize Mars, which Earthlings have totally stated as a future ambition. The fact that Mars has water on it makes it pretty appealing. Also, its atmosphere is the most similar to Earth's that we know of anyway. Plus, the future of our planet is pretty questionable. So in the eyes of many, such as our friend Elon Musk, finding a way for humans to sustain life on Mars is definitely worth exploring. Through one of his companies called SpaceX, Musk thinks this can be accomplished within 50 to 100 years. So we most likely will either be dead or super old if this prediction ever comes true. Although, with the way science is advancing, those of us who become or are actually super rich probably have a decent percentage to live to some crazy age, such as 150 or 175. So assuming we're not going to just be taking potato seeds and poo to make food, we'll need to find a foolproof way for plants and animals to survive in conditions that are still pretty different from here on Earth. Because if I have a chance of moving to Mars, I'm sure as hell not eating that vacuum-sealed space food for three meals a day. Here's what's next. Extract sperm from donors hands-free if you catch our drift. Designed by Chinese doctors at the Yangtze Swanee Medical Center, the idea is to help donors who might be too embarrassed to donate their sperm the traditional way of using an old Playboy magazine and a hand that helps obtain the sperm from the donor. Resembling of a JJ...